I know, I'm sorry guys, I've been keeping you waiting far too long, so let's just get into it, will we? Be Sister Charlotte, less than a day before Crazy Eyes lands, I have to have the wedding ready to go like, right then. I know if she has to spend any more time then she has to on it we're fucked. Thankfully I managed to convince a nice road trader arranged to have one of those portable cathedrals dropped in here. Can't believe how men a functioner is I had to convince to get to talk to him though. Thankfully there are just a shit ton of volunteers here, unskilled but eager. The more technical stuff is a little more difficult though. I'm going to get the nice laundry ladies to help me with the wedding dress, but the problem is good catering. And it fucking chokes me to say it, but only one person is a good enough cook to manage anything with the shit show of supplies we have here. My lot is suffering, but I can't piss off crazy eyes at this point when I'm just starting to get in her good graces. Time to talk to that whore Therese. Bitch is a cow, but she is a damn fine cook. She probably learned to do it to try and lay Olga, the slut. I bet you can lay Olga if you have a donut on a stick though. I waste 20 minutes trading passive aggressive insults with her before finally trading her a ton of rook after do the job. The good shit too. Fucking crazy eyes better appreciate the work I put into this. Who am I kidding I fucking love weddings. Also I have a card up my sleeve to impress crazy eyes. Got a bunch of these lazy fucks to do something useful and carve a statue for the square in front of the cathedral of Constantia herself. That egotistical cow will just cream herself over it. Go with Therese to check up on how they are doing with that. Get there. Okay who the fuck is the sculptor? I am so fucked. The statue is fine. But it's fucking naked. What sort of creative bullshit is this? Fuck artists. My face when I tell Therese to get me a fuck ton of purity seals. We're gonna have to give this statue some modesty the best we can. Thank the emperor for purity seals. Be decorous. Be doing absolutely fan flippin tastic. So get this. First off, there actually was a place that sold candies and flowers by the hospital. Imagine that. I was gonna bring both of them as a get well sorry my bosses accidentally bashed your skull and gift. But I ran into a grumpy, slightly plump looking sister who appropriated the candy for herself. I tried explaining that it was for someone in the hospital. But the way she glares at me said she probably needed it more anyways. Still though, I get the flowers. Big guy Marina is also there too. The sister wakes up. Apparently her name is Bridget. Bridget, that's a nice name. So anyways, the doc says that she'll be fine, but that she shouldn't exert herself too much just in case. Sudden idea dot light bulb. I suggest that she should probably do something easy, like, take a walk, just to see if everything works. I am technically a medic, so I could tag along just in case something goes wrong. Everyone else seems to agree. Yes dot heck yeah. Operation go on a seemingly innocuous outing that is secretly a pseudo date with your crush because you're too much of a card to actually ask her out is a go. Spend a lot of time talking with her about nothing really. She's actually a really sweet and down to terror girl. She has sort of calming aura and manner, like you could open up to her about anything. Honestly, I felt silly about being so nervous in the first place. Anyways it just so happened that the only theater in town was a short walk away, and since I happened to have some spare cash. I offered to treat her to one as an apology on behalf of my bosses for bashing her skull in. They only had one hulovid currently. Don't remember what it was called but it was awful. Still had fun the whole time cracking jokes and making fun of it though. Have I ever mentioned how beautiful her laugh is? Honestly, this day has been going absolutely perfectly. Positively nothing could ruin it. Be me, the color gone. Dewarbus has been treating me like his pet grot since my plan started coming to Jiva. Don't he realize I ain't a grot no more? Think about stomping I am. Swear I am. But decide not to. Yeah lucky dot jiff. Get a brand new red paint job. And he gets the mech boys to weld some extra dak armor on me. Says just a gun ain't enough to keep some squishy chatty grot alive. Would give him the chop if I didn't need him to gather the boys. Has a killer gun ever been warbus? Maybe I'll work on that once we kill all the humies. Progress dot gun life. Between my cleaver scheme with the grots and the weird boys, we've managed to pull all the boys to Jiva almost. Had a bunch of the purple boys looking in on the humies. Day says the humies keep shooting, but most of them are getting ready for some sort of non-shooty party. Not a party without shooters. Wag. Stupid humies. Moment that party starts, we're gonna sweep in there and show how they have a good time. I'm Bridget. I got released from the hospital but they assigned a medic to follow me around for a bit. I told sister Tamsin I really didn't need it, I'm fine. I already got healed from being dead so a bonk on the head isn't that bad. He is nice though, 
We went to the theater. There was only one show but it was really good. He seems like a fun friend. And I like that he says my name right. He calls me Bridget instead of Bridget like some of the sisters do. But sometimes he looks at me the way sister Therese does when we're in the baths on Thomas. It reminds me of the weird dreams I had before. Maybe he has that Florence Nightingale syndrome. I wonder if I should introduce him to Olga. Or maybe Charlotte. But she isn't as shy with boys. Charlotte. I forgot all about the wedding. Canada's Connie comes back soon and I know she was excited for the wedding. I wanted to surprise her by having everything ready when she arrived. I was hoping we could have her be the one to marry them. Or have them married? The thing where you stand in front of them and have them say the words. But then I got sidetracked by fighting a giant orc robot and getting run over by a space marine ship and going to the theater. I get about a block and a half running towards the cathedral before I remember that I have wings. B Blood Raven Chaplain Gordius Gredius. In orbit above this crenellated asshole of a planet on the battle barge Clamatus Rex. Offloading of our valuable chapter relics and gifts to Metallus Boxes was successful, and Boxes has left orbit. Vox is sputtering about some wedding and magpies. What the throne is a fucking magpie. Most of the company has deployed to the surface to liberate the Imperial Temple. It shall not fall to the Xenos, the heretics, or the blighted monstrosities infesting this Grox's elbow of a planet. Is that another Imperial battle barge I spy in orbit? Starshine on the hull. Can't make out the sigil. Servitors at the scanners say it's the Imperial Fists. Fucking bumblebees. Suddenly feel divine inspiration. Surely it's the God Emperor. Reaching out to me. Servitors confirm that the Fists have deployed to the surface. They've left the battle barge unattended. This is a serious dereliction of protocol. We'll secure their battle barge for them. Just this once. I'm certain they'll be effulgent with their praise. We'll let them know it was us that secured their battle barge by slapping our own sigil on it. And piloting it out of orbit for them. I mean, heck, we did that with the Salamander's battle barge, and we haven't heard a peep of complaint from them. B Commissar driving banner blade. Future me has enabled his tracker allowed me to pinpoint his location and by extension those two deserters. No escape dot vox. Suddenly out of nowhere, a fucking land raider crosses my path. Had to pull off some move that some new good fags keep calling drifting to avoid it. I was about to complain when I noticed the land raider belonged to the magpies. Nope dot vox cast. Hightail it out of there before the driver of said raider can get his fingers on me or my tank. Check status again not future me. Realize I am only a minute away from him and by extension those two traitors. Can actually see him on top of the hill and after a brief message he confirms the traitors are on the other side. Have him hop on and decide to start playing this primo Victoria song from some ancient terror singing group known as Sabaton and go full speed on the banner blade. I fucking can't wait to see the look on those two cowardly faggots when they see me. Be me, good theory in the gut autolux a proud berserker of the sanctified. I have been having a fantastic time getting to know some of our new littles. Cult brother Boyle Rage has been cracking everybody up. The guy has a really dry sense of humor. The stuff he was saying about consuming the flesh of his former comrades in this resigned dead pantone was a genuine laugh riot. This dude was my commander. Laugh my ass off. This other new guy Dratheratix managed to stab a fully armored marine with just a knife. So he's a big hit with everyone. He calls his knife icebreaker which we all think is pretty cool. A lot of us are naming our blades now. Calling my chain axe the chef. Because it prepares my food. Get it? Dot cannibalism. Now we do get into a bit of hazing with the new guys, but we make sure everybody knows it's all in good fun. We'll pull a practical joke on a guy. Like we might give one of the smaller littles a marine sized chain axe and have him try to use it. After it's over though we make sure the guy knows that we all went through a bit of hazing and it's about giving us stories to bond over. Plus then we'll give the guy a fun nickname. Like the little guy who had to use the big chain axe. We all told him how crazy strong he is for his size. We call him Orc Arms now, which he seems to like. Anyway, apparently the loyalists are going to have some huge wedding soon. It sounds like they're really putting a lot into it. The plan is to launch our attack during the ceremony. I'm really hoping I get to see this adorable little priest in his big boy formal attire before we kill everyone. B Steve, a fleshling. Flayed ones like I used to be don't phase out with the rest of the army. We just hull over and chill and get some new get ups. Pretty sweet gig. I still have all my collection, but it's getting too much to lug around. I mean, most fleshlings only have one set, but I've got about 13. Still haven't got anyone to laugh at the orc joke when I'm draped in green. What a pain. 
and there's no more Necronter around to even help find more fleshlings. I just want to kill other fleshlings. I swear that's all they all we do. Come on, Steve. Oh, hey there's two of them right now. And they look fabulous. One's purple and one's pink. And they've got donuts. Talking about some algae girl or something. I'll go introduce myself. Oh neat. They have claws too. More crustacean than mine. But it's nice to find like-minded individuals. Hello fleshlings would you like to exterminate us each other? Well, that went well. I've got two more sets of epidermis. Oh. And some donuts. I'll see if I can find that Algao girl. She likes donuts, right? The Illyria, Demonette of Slanesh, have been banished back to the warp three times after a total of four failed attempts to seduce a sister of the Ermine Mantle. Clearly these are some especially cunning and devoted servants of the Corpse Emperor. They've tricked me into banishment three times. Still, sixth time is the charm as they say in the realm of pleasure. Fifth time I'm gonna go see if this sister Olga will betray her faith for a box of magically delicious warp donuts. In the unlikely event that this plan fails I am going to have to go for the big prize, tempting Canonus Constantia herself. I'm trying to plot this out when I get word that the fucking servants of Korn are plotting something relating to the human ceremony that is about to go on. Fuck shit. I'm going to have to try and make my move there to stop them from gaining a victory. If they slaughter everyone there's going to be no one to tempt. Fuck everything. This job was supposed to be fun. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Leading a crusade can be exhausting, so can rebuilding civilization. A man has to find relaxation somewhere, and if it's not with his wife to be then he has to find other options. Of course, my betrothed is the only woman for me. So instead I'm killing time before my big day by killing tyrannids and chatting with a few guardsmen and holy warriors. The groups seem to be getting along better as a lot of my less capable followers have shifted to logistic roles within the holy site. More friendly less fire.png. One of the guys I'm shooting with used to be some sort of adept before the crusade, and had a lot of interesting stuff to say. Haven't been any attacks by orcs, chaos, or anything but tyrannids in a while. The adept explains that because of the sheer amount of bodies the war produced, we're probably going to be fighting tyrannids for a really long time. One of the guardsmen suggests that this whole planet, holy site included, should have just been destroyed. I resist the urge to set him on fire in the name of promoting fellowship amongst the troops. Pardon Dodgif. Some of the other guys are having trouble actually killing the bugs with their lasguns. Suggest that they should use something bigger, like me. Find out no one has ever seen a gun this big before. Suggest they join the flamer crews that are burning the tyrannids up front to prevent them from reproducing. Find out most guardsmen don't consider cleansing the Xenos with holy fire an attractive proposition. Most of them refuse to touch a flamer or fight in melee. Why live.png? I see now why the Emperor needed me, and this world, to craft him a new army. Make a mental note that all of my guards should continue coming from the Ekelshiaki. Take a break from shooting to give a 2 hour long sermon on bravery and not wasting the life the Emperor gave you by clutching to it too hard. I think the guardsmen needed to hear it. Be me, ex-governors or cultist Saint Bethroth of a daughter. Helping with the wedding as good as I can. Have not much time to play with my boy. Besides, while he is addressing the masses I am searching Trophy's quarters. Maybe I find a data slit hidden under the bed or something like that. Wanna know what he is into. In unpure times I would really enjoy blueballing a guy for that long. But I wanna our wedding night be something special. So I will become the best wife this galaxy has seen. Maybe one of the cysts can teach me cooking. We'll visit them. I don't know why, but I feel some presence near them lurking, lusting after them. Rumors about sorority scholar notation rituals.jpg. Looking for them, only find this weird gunslinger sisters, one of their leaders will teach me cooking. First thing she is a boy, women of fit web. She is pretty nice, although she has a pretty loose mouth. All recipes she knew are barbecue stuff. But babe, did you know that there are 5 ways to make spare ribs out of this Dino's sum of the elder faggots right? B Marcus. Be running as fast as my drunk legs can carry me. Almost run into a light pole a few times, but I am alright. Make it to the hospital. Stroke of luck. Decorous is still there. He's just sitting on a bench with this dazed look and this dumb smile on his face. Trying to explain to his overly sentimental ass why we need to get going now. Hear a click behind me. Fuck it's the commissar. He's only got a bolt pistol, but Lloyd and I are too drunk to aim and Decker is still just wistfully sitting there gushing about this sister Bridget or whatever. 
Besides fragging a commissar would probably look bad. Wasn't he supposed to have a bane blade or something? Start hearing this awful ruckus getting closer. I think the boys call it power metal. See this bane blade practically fly up towards us with another commissar in the hatch. Can bane blades even go that fast? Apparently so. Start praying to the emperor. My prayers get answered when a land raider speeds in from the side out of nowhere in front of the bane blade. Forces it to swerve to avoid it. Right into a nearby building. Bloody hell. Almost runs over other commissar who has to jump out of the way, and stops in front of us. Notice it has a bloody magpie symbol on it. The door opens up, it's Fessus. Don't even wait for him to open his mouth. Lloyd and I grab Loverboy and pile in. Drive, drive, drive. Anywhere but here mate. Be me, Dratheratics of the Gorehounds. Things have been getting better. These traitor marines aren't so bad, they just have a drive to find the worthiest of enemies to defeat, and then eat them. They have been calling us little, so one of the cult started calling them biggins. It's caught on. Always wanted a brother. JPEG. The biggins are sorting us into groups. Keep saying it's for a big ceremony. Couple of the biggins keep quoting some pictvid that came out a few years back. Wedding smashers or something, whatever. Each biggin gets a few little around him. They say it's to give us some good experience. I know a meat shield when I see it. GIF. Get paired up with the gut, along with a few other littles including orc arms. He seems cool. Still trying to use that chain axe though. Keeps telling me it'll be like that show furious. Fething Chogaribs PNG. Start loading up into transports. Still got icebreaker. Still got autogun. Guess we're going to a wedding. I feel severely underdressed. B Land Raider Driver Furantus. Currently be in a high speed chance through Angel's Landing with a fucking banner blade. This was supposed to just be a simple extraction. This is ridiculous. I mean, okay yeah so we might have almost destroyed the planet with a cyclonic torpedo. And we may have brained a living son in the back of the head. But those were both accidents. And there was no lasting damage from either. Seriously a fucking bane blade. Excessive force. Holovid. It's a good thing this land raider was a gift from the white scars. Decide to try and lose it through a busy looking section of town. This turns out to be a horrible idea as a land raider is only marginally smaller and less clumsy than a bane blade. I just want to say, for the record, they while I may have caused my fair share of property damage, I did not damage the statue of the lady wearing a dress of purity seals over. I only bumped it, it was the bane blade that hit it. Still doesn't stop everyone else from joining the chase. On whose side I dunno, but I don't want to find out. Reach city gates thanks to my Chagoras drift skills. Pick related. Then I see the two giant dust clouds making steady progress towards the city. That can't be good. Litany. Perhaps I should use this brief period of not being chased to call Commander Morganson for backup. Beehive worker before this all started. Be witness to the whole shitstorm. Lose everything. See my friends and family get cut down by Xenos, heretics and friendly fire. Watch as my home and everything I've ever known burned down in said fire. Fight in the holy bishop's crusade. Help build a city and establish around Angel's Gate. Now, be witness to the marriage of our holy bishop to his betrothed. The emperor really does look out for those with faith. Suddenly hear crashing sound. See a fucking land raider and bane blade tear through the ceremony like it's some sort of demolition derby, destroying everything in their path. Happen to be standing by the statue of Lady Constantia when the bane blade hits it. Get my legs crushed by a giant stone arm. Be canonous. Sororitas on a guard filed into a too small landing craft. Not me of course, I have my own private cabin next to the flight deck. Much too small though, and no chaise lounge. At least brought a nice bottle of port from the stock aboard the Emperor's bright corona. Going to need it by the time we land. Bay is split between my own Celestian bodyguards, Palatine Sara's Golden Light Folk Battle Choir and Palatine Barbastella's Black Sepulchre Repentius. Figure that Sister Therese will have a field day with the latter. They dress them in black collared dresses and tall buckled boots instead of the traditional bondage nightmare chick. Bunch of goth sluts might make any woman question her preferences. Or would, if the grip of the warm, polished catachin ebony gunstock of her master crafted sidearm were not all the lover she needed. Figuratively speaking. Thoroughly unimpressed with the situation on the ground. Only the respective strongholds of the remaining imperial forces in the new matrimonial city are considered safe zones. And relatively. The rest of the planet is full of remnant tyrannids and orcs. 
roving bands of homeless civilians and mass desertions from the former Holy Army are a breeding ground for heresy. At least it's not on fire anymore. Although that might be an improvement. See the new city on landing approach. If I'd still been on the fence on privately doubting the bishop's divine provenance, employing the gaggle of careless holots I left him as wedding planners and civil engineers wouldn't help. Think his Aquila birthmark looks more like a man to Ray anyway. Maybe the emperor intended him to be a fisherman. Be sister Charlotte. Be nearly about fucking dead. Canonus is here in a matter of fucking hours. Number. Less than that. And the fucking statue fell over. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck this is your fault Therese. No I don't know how shut the fuck up. Okay what's the damage? Okay so it broke off at the feet. That can be fixed with some mechanicus science. Don't panic. That arm and hand that were supposed to be gesturing munificently or something are in a bad way though. A lot of the purity seals fell off. Therese stop fucking staring at statue Connie's giant brazen ass. Also you fucking peasant stop bitching about your legs. This is our statue you are getting your blood all over. Start threatening workers with the melter and get the statue back up. Get as many purity seals back on to cover up the stupid nudity. Though the dress is sort of shorter than I'd like. Too many purity seals blew away. Oh well. Looks good from the front. If a little short in the back. Get them to glue the arm back together. They just finish as Connie arrives with the honor guard. It's just then that I notice that in putting the hand back together. They fucking messed up with the fingers. Now this cathedral has out front a statue of the canonus, naked but for the purity seals, giving a gigantic middle finger to the city. My face when I hope no one notices. Vox. Be sister Lydia. Be way too hungover for this shit. Sister Hannah is also way too hungover, but that bitch doesn't need to do jack shit but nap in the gunner's seat. Fuck I have to go pick up Connie. Fuck that purple bitch. If I find her I'll... Oh yeah, she lit on fire. Okay I feel better I guess. Do my best to drive the repressor hungover. I'm fucking late to pick up Kenna because some fucking talons or whatever at the checkpoints to the landing zone start bitching about women drivers. I am not in the mood so I tell them sister Hannah will shoot them. My face when I can barely understand their accents or jargon. Vox. I don't know if the threat works, but they all seem reverend of sister Bridget and afraid of Connie, so I just lean on that. Finally get the canoness in the repressor and drive her to the cathedral. Fuck what do you even chat to a canoness about? This chauffeur thing is a lot different than combat, when there's just a lot of screaming. I prefer the screaming. Hannah actually nodded off I think. Lazy bitch. Guess there's a lot of tyrannids today, huh mom? Shit that was a bad move. Tyrannids are always a touchy subject. I swear to god. Number one method of death in this order is got eaten by Moloch or other fucking massive bug lizard thing. Doesn't stop us saying we all hope each other get eaten by Morlocks. We are a classy bunch of cunts. But this what you get when the scholar was as fucked up for all of us. And then the old canonist gets eaten by a Morlock. Not even in a combat scenario, just suddenly there was a Morlock attack after our first deployment when we had an ad hoc graduation. The Mechanicus explained that it had something to do with the vibrations the music at the after party. More like the vibrations of Olga walking around. Am I right? Man, I really lose my train of thought easily. Oh good we're here. What the fuck is with that statue? B Commissar riding Blander Blade was just about to run over the deserters when out of fucking nowhere the land raider I avoided earlier pops out of nowhere. It only gets worse when a guardsman opens to the door to the land raider and the other two jump in. What the fuck dot Vox? Decide to say fuck it and give chase to the land raider after picking up future me and asking the damn driver why the magpies have my stormtroopers. Of course though the pilot keeps avoiding me and I run into some statue of that crazy eyed canonist who leads the sisters on this planet. I would be more concerned though the other sisters are too busy freaking out over the statue falling over and its current lewd state to the point where it's kinda amusing. Anyway I was going to give chase again to the magpie land raider when I noticed two clouds in the distance. Future me grabs his binoculars to see what it is and almost immediately tells me we are going to get swarmed by orcs and berserkers. Oh shit dot heresy. Decide to forget about the deserters for now and contact all available cold shoulder regiments to get their asses to the city and me and my future self rush around the city to find the bishop and inform him of the battle to come. This gets complicated as this city doesn't really accommodate for imperial tanks. Accidental vehicular manslaughter.hive. At least they died for the emperor. Be me. Calibite halfborn. I don't even remember where I am. Fucking drugs man. Venom. Kinda remember pilling into a venom with my squad. Nothing after that. Be wandering a blasted wasteland. One of thousands on this planet. 
Radar says I'm still in friendly territory. Hear some loud bangs in the distance. Don't really care. Someone seems to be putting on a laser light show, but pointed at me. Oh I'm being shot at. Grenade. Someone yells. Sounds female. Elder. Quickly dive into nearby crater. Land on something. Probably a rock. Look around the hole. Fucking witches. By Vectdick.hippox. Please don't key. Hear an explosion. Really close. Like really really close. Ears ringing. Kinda tired now. Probably the drugs. See the most beautiful face look at me in shock. She says something but ears still ringing. Fuck it I'm gonna go to sleep. Be me. Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Back to shooting after I finished giving a speech to the cowards of the imperial guard. Halfway through my sermon one of the guardsmen commented that he was ready to die for the emperor. One soul at a time. PNG. Get a message on the Vox. Apparently there is some land cruiser being chased around by fucking tank through my city. I hate the guard. Told that the land raider is with the blood ravens. Harassy. Balam. But the tank is crewed by some commissar running around with some sort of evil warp duplicate. Double heresy. Balam. Want everyone involved dead, but I can see how this will go down. Everything destroyed and the wedding ruined. How did a tank even get clearance? The warp spawn is making some wild predictions. As if I'm going to listen to some demon. Find out that the tank destroyed the statue of the canonus. Chaos is screwed. Crazy eyes. Get on the Ekelshiaki Vox channels. Send instructions that the chaos spawn should be separated from that tank peacefully. Don't want shooting by the cathedral. How come I don't have a statue? Continue to be scout marine Zhang. Still pissed, but things are a little better since brother Augustine showed up with bikes. Now we're rolling. This chapter is still a ripoff. It will take forever to make actual space marine. We run extra scout companies just to cater to those sicker fuckers need to investigate all their fucking wet dreams or whatever. So Augustine and I are just chilling camping out when suddenly we see some shit. Get out the binux orgy. Oh fuck that does look like chaos. Looks fucking cornet. Guess we gotta go warn the city. If they laugh at our name they can fuck right off though. Bephesus. Narrowly survive a far too thrilling chase through the city. Good news. Commissars gave up on chasing us. Bad news. It's because they were more concerned with the giant fuck huge armies coming towards. Fuck. Fuck. Emperor damn it I thought we were done with these ridiculous cluster fucks. Of course not, why would I think things would be nice for me for once? We're gonna have to call the commander for reinforcements on this one. I mean, we are gonna have to defend this place. The magpies may like nicking stuff, but they're still space marines after all. Besides it's not like we can just leave all these people here to die. I mean, yeah we are technically still deserters, but that was only because we thought everyone else was gonna die anyways. I just hope we have enough time for Marcus and Lloyd to sober up, and for Decorous to stop mooning about his new girlfriend. No Decorous I don't wanna know what her favorite color is, or her favorite movie, or about how worried and caring she is about her fat sister Olga, or what she smells like, just shut the fuck up. I think I preferred it when he was mopey about her. Who would have thought Phil would be the least troublesome out of all of them? Be future commissar. Decide I will be the one to meet the bishop boy to discuss our most recent tank chase and how to defend this city from the hordes coming to either burn and rape it, or just coming to loot it. Though it's a bit late for the looting part since the blood ravens are here. Had to bolt down the bane blade and leave original version of me behind just to make sure they don't try to steal it. Fucking space gypsies Vox. This is actually the first time I will actually see this bishop in person come to think of it. Pray to the emperor he isn't like some of those other bishops and tries to flail me alive for being part of some warp time fuckery. Not my fault dot warp. Hope it goes well. Be me. Half born calabite. Wake up from drug nap. Be in hemunculus den. Tactically shit my pants. Try and get up quietly. Good morning friend. Tactically shit myself again. Turn around and see. A somewhat normal looking hemunculus. Ask what happened and why I'm here. You died. Fell on a grenade you did. Ha. Huh. That's what I landed on. Wait. I died? Whatever. Ask why I got rezzed over some else. A. Friend called in a favor. He tosses me my armor and other shit I had that survived the explosion. Doc turned around and said I should get to the hangar. Start leaving when. But Modwati slaps my back. Remember. We're always looking for more trueborn. Fucking trueborn. Get to hangar and ask the coordinator what happened to my squad. They died. Kinda like I expected. Get assigned to a raider. 
Moving up. Drugs. Identify the raider by the graffiti. Hop in. First to arrive like usual. Sit in the gunner seat of the front cannon. Think about drugging up, but decide against it. Put on helmet so no one thinks I'm sleeping. Take a nap. Wake up some time later. Don't want to turn around to see my new squad. First impressions and all that. Try and see them via reflections off the controls. Oh fuck it's the witches. The same ones from before. They ignore me. Thankfully. But this one with the spear is just stares at me with this weird expression. Fidget uncomfortably. Here we're going to crash a wedding or something. Oh. That should be a cakewalk. Maybe I won't need to see the dock again. By Vect's infinite libido I was wrong. Be canonous. Arrive later than scheduled because I didn't want to suffer the indignity of being forced to wait. Sure enough, my personal repressor is just pulling up on landing. Can see the glow of minor fires several streets over. Really don't know what I was expecting. Shoot sister Lydia the look as I get in with the power times. She's nervous. Makes some pitiful attempts at small talk. Just glare at her until she focuses on driving. The city looks nice, I must admit. The cathedral would be a 2 out of 10 on Shrine World Thomas but it's possible. Apparently Sister Charlotte had a statue of me installed in the square. Not surprised, she's been licking my boots like she mistook them for her man of the hour ever since her promotion to Celestian. Figure she's annoyed at Sister Olga being placed above her and is gunning for her own Celestian superior position. Not likely. Maybe if Sister Catalin or Sister Radmila died in the crusade. Or Olga ate herself to a heart attack. It's not a bad statue. A good pose. Tastefully nude with some nice faux purity seals for modesty's sake. But it's a little too thin. Don't very much appreciate the implication that I might need to be flattered by a statue less than true to life. More importantly there is a heavy tank sized scrape through the walls along the main street. Local defense units are scrambling like they have some place to be. Go to find the bishop and figure out just what the hell is going wrong currently. Reflect that I always seem to be freshly arriving to a clusterfuck rather than being present for the start of one. Really makes you think. Be Sergeant Thorn. Had to postpone any further fortification construction when all Imperial Fist forces were recalled to our battle barge after the magpies raided it. Fucking magpies.gene seed. Was hoping that the fucking Necron raids would keep them away but they always find a way to steal anything that is not bolted down. Anyway after Ray securing what was left of their gift exchange. We received orders from our commander that we are to get ready for the steel rain maneuver over the wedding ceremony as a way to fight an upcoming raid by orcs and berserkers. We are also instructed to keep shouting steel rain and battle brewers to the blood ravens as some low key insult to them after we land. From what I heard it's referencing some failure of a commander they once had. Unfortunately, it turns out there was a lot more than just orcs and berserkers at that party. Be me. Former's planetary head of state higher libido gifted promiscuous women of a genetic female descendant. Those cowgirl sisters are really nice. Tell them about my wedding. All tell their brash and tough attitudes and show liking to the story of our love. They tell me about something I could do in my wedding night. Yow and JPG. Do you like whips and lassos babe.png? I am tempted to share some of my techniques with them, but don't wanna get burned on a stake. What is your type don't have one dot jpeg? Decide to go to the goth sisters, maybe they can teach me something nice too. Be strike commander Morganson. Be back aboard the merciless gift. Receive word that our gifts are being stolen by filthy necrons. Our battle brothers are bravely fighting them off, but with so many gifts, and only so many brothers, it is a losing battle. Emperor dammit. Receive call from brother Furantus and Stormtroop Ephesus that the settlement of Angel's Landing is about to be besieged by forces of heretics and orcs reminiscent of this conflict's earlier days and needs as much assistance as possible. It is woefully undisciplined for a conflict of this scale. Our forces are already stretched thin as it is, and considering their opinion of us it's likely they may not even accept our assistance. Still we can't just leave them to get slaughtered. What kind of space marines would we be? I know what I must do. Order all able bat brothers to assist in the defense of Angel's Landing, and to bring as many gifts with them as they can. Have to psyche myself up for the next part. Brothers, this planet has given us so much already, I think it is time we give back. It hurts me to say it, but it must be done. Better than letting our gifts fall into the hands of Necrons. With great power comes great responsibility. Voxcast. B Strike Commander Morgensen. Aboard the Strike Cruiser Merciless Gift. We are acting as a forward observer for the Clematis Rex, getting a count of Necron ships in far orbit. 
or specs and sensors cannot detect them as effectively at range. The merciless GIF is faster than most large ships, and hopefully will stay out of weapons range. The surf crewing or specs station B informs me that there is a massive pressure spike in the armory. Potential teleport. The merciless gift has only few brothers on board, but I gather them with me on a mad sprint through the decks. The armory doors are intact. Seven brothers stand with me, bolter or chain sword at the ready as I punch in the command to open blast doors. Inside, there is a trio of figures. Two stand with weapons trained at the door, while the third, the third. He's picking up power weapons, looking them over, and throwing them in a pile. Occasionally heal some interesting war gear and put it in a tiny cube. How's the even work? He hasn't even noticed us. The two guards and my brother stare each other down. Initiate Thievius coughs loudly. The third figure turns to face us, covered in ornamentation and runes. He tips his diadem to us. I raise my bolt pistol, ready to shout a challenge. It it's gone. He's twirling it in his hand. Gasps and exclamations from my brothers. Check the clock chrono. It's go time dot thief. I hold up his orb of resurrection. His two goons share a worried glance. His eyes narrow. He's got my power sword. I've got his tacket on arrow. He's wearing my helmet. I'm leaning on his staff. He's putting my iron halo on his diadem. I've got his cube thing. Oh no his cube just ate initiate Thievius. He's got my ammo belt around his waist. I've got his, I, uh, scarab icon. Oh shit it's full of spiders. And he has my crux terminatus. He tips his hat and also my hat. That arsehole to me. And disappears with a audible pop. Boys. Get the claimatus rex on the horn. It's Trazin. Gift status red. Be canonus. More precisely. Constanza Constanza. Canon is superior of the order of the ermine mantle and all adeptus auroritus within the Thomas crusade. The electric eye of the imperium. The erythristic ermine. Heroine of the battles of Gilda's hope. Caladium IV and Stercus Ludicrum. Cursed by heretics over a dozen systems, tested against every major foe of the Imperium of Man, and wedding officiator. To be fair, I knew this was within the scope of my potential responsibilities when I took the position. Just kind of glossed over it in favor of being able to execute citizens without trial and destroy continents from orbit. Not like there was a shortage of marriage officiants on Shrine World Thomas, or much demand for one in Caladium's mud-soaked trenches. The bishop would be the one handling this if it weren't his own damn wedding. Scouts reporting orc and heretic forces clashing outside the city. They want to call off the ceremony. Fuck no. There is no way I am hearing about this every day while I try to structure a crusade. Take personal command of the local defense units. Order low level bombardment of the outlying enemy forces. Director starts drop pod support. Move up the timeline for landing reinforcements from the crusade fleet. Fortify the streets of Angel's Landing leading to the square. Fill the cathedral with sororities from all three orders. Stash my favorite storm bolter and four spare bolt drums behind the pulpit in the space there for that specific purpose. That useless should be fisherman and his gold digging whore are going to be married and out of my hair if I have to personally burn a thousand orcs to do it. Be original commissar. Future me informs me after a brief meeting that the crazy eyed canonist has taken control of the local PDF forces to secure the ceremony and has started giving tactical advice to the astartes in orbit. With new tactical knowledge of this I decide to instruct the regiments coming to the city to get into a formation with Bane Blades as the spearhead and two columns of lemon rust tanks at the sides. With chimeras, sentinels, etc acting as support. The hope is to surround the enemy with vehicles and stormtroopers and use combined fire to whittle them down and keep them close while the astartes drop on top of them. After relaying this plan to the canonists and about any astartes commander active me and my future self have to unbolt our bane blade and make a mad dash out of the city to the coming regiments. Despite the uncertain factors involved such as the astartes part being optional and this whole planet most likely becoming a clusterfuck again. Can't help but feel the thrill of battle against such foes of the Imperium. Especially when you get to bury them under the one thing that makes a guard worth it. Massive amounts of tanks. Looks like this wedding bullshit is finally on. I am looking forwards to the drinks served afterwards though. Olga and Lydia are fucking hilarious when drunk. The heroes of the previous war get to be the honor guard. That is glorified bridesmaids. I'm not a hero but I tell Charlotte that she has to let me be there or I'll tell about how she nearly got her statue destroyed. She says I can be there but to not fuck any of the bridesmaids. Bitch fine as long as you don't suck off the groom you insufferable cow. 
At least wait until the ceremony is over. To my surprise Charlotte is actually fucking tearing up over this. Olga is too I think, but she might just be sweating heavily, can't tell. Even Lydia and Hannah look emotional and they haven't even started drinking yet. Connie just looks kinda pissy, but that might be the cybernetic eyes. Meanwhile, I have to put a hand over my mouth to avoid anyone seeing me smile when I see how young this twerp kid is. Is that his fapping arm? Oh well, looks like this is a go. At least we can get wasted after and I can see who I can get into the back of a repressor. Here, we, go. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Orcs, Cornets, and Tyranids are attacking my city. The Imperial Guard is thoroughly corrupted by a Tsunichian warp spawn. And this cake is at least two stories too small. Rain on your wedding day. M page 3. But, it's gonna be fine. Because I read an orc attack on a wedding is actually considered good luck if you survive it. The marriages tend to last. The Imperial Guard are pussies who won't even use flamers, so they'll probably die. And as soon as this ceremony is over, it's my wedding night. Who cares about there being enough cake? I'm really 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 looking forward to finally entering a holy union with my betrothed. Violent volcanic eruption. Gif. Order my forces to fight from behind the guard to prevent any last minute betrayals. Order some of my honor guard to slouch so I look taller. Adjust my formal robes, holster my ceremonial flamer, and start walking down the aisle. Be decorous. Be here outside of Angel's Landing, and see a bunch of the magpies helping out with the defense planning and coordinating with the other space marines here, like the bumblebees. Thieve ended up becoming a much more welcome sight around here, probably thanks to the massive piles of gifts they keep bringing. Weapons, armor, supplies, raw materials, you name it. Hornstitith they're probably responsible for supplying at least half of this defense force. You can tell it's really hard for them to part with their gifts. Still, good on them for doing the right thing. Anyways, Fessus is drilling us extra hard. It's because he cares though. Probably because we're gonna end up fighting with the space marines, who always go for the much tougher targets than the guard. On the bright side, they also go for the more important ones too. So they're usually expected to survive and succeed rather than just die. Marcus and Lloyd aren't too happy, having to get ready to fight again with their hangovers. Well what did you expect when you drink enough booze to kill a rattling? Phil's taking to it like a fish to water. Even found time to paint all our armors. He's really good at that. He ought to have been an artist. I think he's just glad to have a chance to beat heretics and make inspirational speeches again. Maybe he could go straight for Commander Morgensen? Anyways feeling a bit nervous, but also kind of relieved. This'll be the closest we've been to our normal life in a while. Be me, to kill a gun. I love when a good scheme comes Tajitha. Got every orc on this planet about to come down on the humies. Painted sumo the trucks purple so the humies won't know what hit me. Sneaky boys dot wag. But that's not even the best part. On top of marking me the shootiest and choppiest killer gun ever. The mech boys have been working hard. Built me some brothers out of some overgrots. Built the boys a bunch of big shooters. And they's gonna stomp the whole city with this garg and ray built. All the daka dot wag. I am gonna miss having all these humies to kill. There we go. Be me, Calibite Halfborn. Raider speeding through the webway. Try and calm down, and ignore the witches. They occasionally look at me, then the leader and snigger. Oh, and apparently the leader is a succubus. Because this could only get worse. We're halfway to the exit point, and someone grabs my shoulder. I'm dead. Stims. Turn around. Expect a knife to find its way into my throat. It's the fucking succubus. Silently make peace with my death. Her pale skin is kinda red. Probably drugs or something. H hey, what are you doing after this? She stammers like a slave being beat. I don't even get to finish my response before she blurts out. Because I have an arena match coming up can you please come? Next thing I know she's back to where she was before. Some witches are barely holding laughter back. But most pat her on the back and say stuff I choose to not hear. I think the succubus invited me to a gladiator mac. Probably is a participant torture doll. Shudder and mentally prepare. Turn back around and get ready to exit the webway. By the big clown if I only knew what was coming. Be canonous. Watch these two colossal human wastes of imperial resources saunter their way down the aisle. Sin Bridget flutters over the crowd. Scattering flower petals. Rushing through the ceremony a bit. Welcome everyone and thank them for their presence even though the congregation is almost entirely Imperial Guard, Marine and Sororas as security, many of them actively setting up defensive positions. 
Pretty sure most of whatever friends and family these two had are long dead now. Skip the part about defining marriage. Skip the part about whether anyone objects. Pretty sure there's a whole army of those outside the gates. Not to mention myself. Hear the familiar ringing of guard battle cannons outside. Flashes of light shine colors through the stained glass windows to accompany the booming outside. Comma kip ahead to the lawfully wedded bits. Be me. Good theory in the gut auto lux a proud berserker of the sanctified. And it is party time. Now a lot of our littles have never been part of butchering a wedding before. So we give them a few tips on being a good guest. What to wear. What kind of demons to bring. And how you break the outer shell of guards to get to the soft gooey morsels in formal wear. Rules of wedding crashing dot heresy. We also slip in some lines from the hollow vid we all watched. It was too funny. We see that the orcs had the same idea. Orc arms flexes and makes a joke about calling in some backup. And we all crack up. That guy is great. Seems like they had some warning we were coming. But the guys in the trenches seem jumpy and distracted by the reports of orcs are tracking from the south. The boys on the north side don't see us coming. Let one of my littles get the first kill with his bayonet. Great way to break the ice. Get it? Dot massacre. Be me. Drat. Feth it. Don't have time for this. Transport is ruined. Lasted maybe three quarters of the way through the guts hype up speech. Loyalists seem to be expecting us. Lots of fire coming our way. Rhino is wrecked. Taken down by a stray basilisk round. Shredded three littles. Only alive because I happened to be tightening up my bootstraps at the time. Good thing to- Because now we're running. The biggins, being the avatars of war and slaughter they are, could easily outpace us littles. They don't. They want to give us the first crack. Not sure if respect or more meat shield.png. Feth it. Keep going. Legs burning. Head pounding. Heart racing. See orc arms. Still dragging his bloody chain axe. Uh, orc arm I should say. I should lend him a hand. Have to stifle back a giggle at my joke. I can feel the warp overtaking me. JPEG. Explosions go off. Booming in the skies. Come to a realization. As the gut starts talking about the other attack. Green skins are coming from the south. Head of a large armored column. Imperials are also expecting them. Imperials set up a bigger defense for them. Imperials are shortchanging us. Now I'm annoyed. Fething lap dogs can't even properly welcome their wedding crashes. I'll show him good. Run him through with icebreaker. Start to laugh. Got a pun for just this occasion. Be Sergeant Thorn. Me and my squad have finally entered into our pod and are awaiting for the familiar feeling of controlled freefall. We are reminded to drop into the center of the enemy attack, in this case the greenskins, while guard regiments provide covering fire for me and my battle brothers. Suddenly I feel the pod drop, into the maelstorm of battle. Belter. Nothing can ever beat the feeling of landing in the middle of fucking orc hordes and ripping them to shreds with our bolters and chain swords. See that everything is going great for my brothers as the assault squads harassing the enemy where they go, devastators providing covering fire. Revere's swooping in and blasting their battle cries that even orcs know to fear, and combined terminator and aggressor units making short work of any pitiful attacks the greenskins throw against them. Truly today was to be that of great victory for us and for the first time I was actually glad to be on this hell blasted planet. Doing gene father proud dot fist. That changed when some scout marines from this literally who chapter called the purple stars reported a fucking orc titan coming towards. What dot vox. It only gets worse when the corn front also reports the remaining chaos titans are lumbering their way here. Commissars starts making a tactical withdrawal and recommends we do the same. Normally we would be hesitant to disengage with beasts such as the orcs but when titans are suddenly coming and the best tactical option at the moment is fortifying the cathedral. We were quick to initiate purification runs and have the thunder hawks pick us up for our new location. On the way to the cathedral we noticed the local crusade militia arguing with the guard regiments. Emperor I hope it doesn't end with some autistic fight. B Palatine Sarah. The fastest gun this side of Segmentum Obscura. Draw as soon as the thick wooden cathedral doors start to crack. The first orcs through the door meet my wheel guns and die with single silver bullets through their heads. The golden light musician sisters set down instruments and take out lever action bolt guns. Picking their targets carefully and firing slow, aimed, accurate shots. Sister Marisol fires a shining brass gatling gun into the entrance way. A single musician continues to play her guitar. The sisters continue to whistle in harmony as they fire. Ecstasy of gold. MP3. Faith and instinct guide my hands. I am an avatar of righteous force standing among mortal men. 
the God Emperor's supreme will and almighty vengeance channel through cold iron and grey jets of black powder smoke. No man, beast or machine can stand against the ancient and glorious fury of gunpowder, fine aim and holy conviction. Then I fire my twelfth shot and hide behind a pillar while I punch spend cartridges out of my guns with the ejector rod one at a time. Being a paradigm of classical justice does have a few drawbacks. Be Palatine Barbastella. Not that it matters. I am a corpse. I live no longer. The God Emperor has welcomed my spirit lovingly and with open arms into the same void that awaits us all. I am already dead, and in knowing this I draw strength. I carry my tomb with me and welcome the enemies of man to join me within it. The Repentious of the Black Sepulchre move without fear. They, too, know that they have already died. They wield long chain spears, flanking the entrance, eviscerating enemies as they pour in. Draw my own weapon, a long, thin saber saw. There's no use in knowing your death if you can't send others to theirs. Kept back by the blades, the orcs funnel in through the natural chocker point, down the aisle just like the bride and groom had. Marriage is a form of death. Be canonous. Though it doesn't come highly recommended. The orcs got here sooner than expected. Hadn't even gotten to you may kiss the bride yet. But we were ready for this. Watch Sarah start dropping orcs before my hands are even on the storm bolter under the pulpit. Holy shit. How did I ever doubt that bitch? Watch her duck down and start awkwardly trying to reload her stupid revolvers. Oh right now I remember. Sister Therese grabs the former governor's daughter and pulls her behind the fortified altar. Scream for Bridget to get her fat holy ass in there. Watch Barbastella flick non-verbal commands to her carder of slutty goths. They take up positions on either side of the aisle, forming a phalanx and hunkering down to allow the guardsmen and the few present space marines clear shots. She pulls out some kind of weird chainsword I've never seen. It looks like a rapier mixed with one of those electric turkey carvers. Fucking hipster. Sister Olga tackles the bishop to cover as he tries pulling a holstered flamer. No better human shield in the Imperium. Seen Imperial Guard fortifications that were slimmer. Fire my storm bolter indiscriminately up the length of the aisle from behind the pulpit as orcs pour inside. Bridget starts bathing them in holy fire from the rafters. Start thinking things might stay this easy. Get punished for it as always. Marines over the Vox report an orc gargan pushing in from the south. Guards report at least one heretic titan from the north. This might not go as well as I'd hoped. Be Sister Charlotte. Be having the fucking wedding I organized ruined. I mean, they rushed through to the important part but still. My face when I have had it with this shit. Holy rage. Grab my melter from under my pew and find the biggest orc I can. Melt its goddamn ugly face. See Sister Therese is already pushing the governor's daughter down while firing with a bolt pistol. Sisters Lydia and Hannah are moving to flank the canonists with drawn bolters and are cutting down orcs. Suddenly orc fucking walkers are storming in through the wall mowing down the guests in the pews. Well, the non-important local guests. Aim my melter and blow off one of its legs. Start to walk a bust my way towards the catering table. Fuck it, who am I kidding, this is the best wedding ever. Be me, Gormuncha. Is be naive in a good tomb. Is watch dem big cans crump in the yumis. Is stop myself from joining in the ruckus, even if is wanting to. Is a commando, and a commando don't abandon a my son. I sees dem humies try and take fight off the lads. They don't know what was orcs is good fair. Fighting and winning. P. Engrot. The cans is coming. Sees a big Yumi get ripped. Almost time. Yumi is coming up. Yumi is a big burner. Cans is getting mucked up. But is a commando. And a commando never fails is my son. Deploying tactic orc maneuver. Gif. Drop from above. Is be hiding in the Yumi art in this air chapel. Big old Roy no Yumi's and the big tin boys. They never even seen the purple jits. Blended in perfect with the background. Is fall in now. Draw me sticker. Is a sticker, because I is sticky are with it, not chop. Yumi with the big burner below, looking at the cans, thinking it's safe. Get a load of discrot.jpg. Is gonna show this air Yumi no one is safe from the orcs. Be future commissar. Was responsible for the corn front while other me was dealing with some green skin. That was until our adversaries managed to get some fucking titans and have them start lumbering their way to the wedding. I would say that it was probably the greatest wedding crash witnessed in human history though that would be giving credits to such lowly vermin and I can't allow that. That said it became obvious that withdrawing all forces to the ceremony and fortify it. At first the tactical withdrawal was working with artillery and valkyries keeping the enemy off of us. 
then we ran into some of the bishop's personal army who refused to let us leave stating by retreating I was not giving glory to the emperor and was by extension a heretic. Can't bring glory when at it and eviscerates you. Heresy was about to contact the canonists to tell these fuckers to let us retreat to the ceremony when we received word that the fucking purple colored orcs managed to get to the ceremony. How the fuck do purple colored orcs sneak past us? The planet is most grey with the occasional fire and corpse mountain. Though this got the zealots to make a mad dash back to the ceremony. Decided to give them a ride since it means we now have a meat shield and they wouldn't dare try to shoot us. Upon arrival the place was swarming with purple. I'm not joking the entire outside was nearly purple save for the occasional blue, red, white, and gold of the cold shoulder regiments and the colors of the space marines fighting outside. The fucking orcs even painted their vehicles purple though that was changing due to how much blood was starting to get on their vehicles. Original version of me pulls up right next to me and decides that our banner blade will be a great to break down the doors where the ceremony is being held and use the banner blade and our elite stormtroopers to clear the inside. This plan involved just about any risk you can imagine and was in general fucking stupid. And I fucking loved it. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. How dare they? How dare any of these filthy Xenos enter this hallowed temple of the emperor? And she only had one more sentence. I knew I should have officiated this thing myself. The emperor wants me to be married right now. As the battle starts I grab my betrothed. I may now kiss the bride. Bishop. I am sure the emperor wants me to consummate my marriage immediately, so I consider retreating to safety with my bride. But the emperor had sent the sisters of battle to shelter my bride. Because the emperor clearly wants me focused on battle. Which means the emperor thinks that orcs have existed too long. Flames of sexual frustration. Genocide. The isle, my isle, is full of massive disgusting huge tusk orc monsters. My honor guard attempts to restrain me, but I rip free. I press my ceremonial flamer into the hands of the nearly abhuman sized member of my honor guard and I take his flamer. The massive furnace of the emperor's cleansing light is nearly as big as I am. I march directly into the fray, batting the first of the massive orcs away easily, filled with the emperor's fury. No invitation. Gif. And then I filled my isle with fire. Be guardsman on guard duty. Can hear the faint explosions and Wallyag screams happening in the distance. The worst part of this is job is that any minute something will show up and kick down our doors. The waiting is what truly terrifies me. I guess I can't complain beats being on the front lines. Suddenly what appears to be a moving rainbow appears out of nowhere. I try to get a better look and pull out my longless. It's a band of jet bikes speeding towards us. By the emperor.vox. Try sound the alarm but I was too. Late. An elder jump into my watchtower and grabs the voxcaster. Greetings monkey we are the harlequins from the mask of the sensible chuckle. We have come to this planet as have received word that it's just filled with potential fans for our dance of death. Jet bikes leap over our base in a single bound. In all my years I've never seen them do that. Vox. They drop pamphlets from the sky. Come one come all everyone is invited to our performance from the lowliest of monkey to our old friends the necrons. Tickets to tomorrow's matinee are out now. The elder hands me tickets for me and two friends as she jumps out. Well at least no one died. Be sister Therese. Be one of the only sensible people in here. Be sensible due to knowing how cover works. Snapping shots off with my bolt pistol as I get the lady of the hour to safety. I'd be shooting better if Olga's fat ass wasn't taking up most of my field of vision. It doesn't help that her lower clothing is heavily on fire. Makes her ass sort of illuminated and holy looking. Actually, way too much of this cathedral is on fire now. No one ever thinks of the effects of these things. See Charlotte Glory hogging as usual as basically one whole wall of this place is disintegrated. What the fuck are there orcs dropping from the ceiling? Haha, <laughs> looks like Charlotte is going to get a knife up her ass. Suddenly I realize that the catering table that I worked so hard on is in danger of being crushed by orcs. Oh fuck, that was some really good amasek. Run across the cathedral brandishing a bolt pistol and a sword. Fire in the air since it seems the thing to do. That dumb cow Charlotte thinks I'm actually shooting at something and notices the orc. Getting out of the way. Shit. Guess she gets to live another day. However, the catering table is now a lost cause as the fucking largest orc walker I've ever seen smashes through the rest of the wall. Crushing everything under one gigantic foot. Man, Olga's fat flaming ass is going to be pissed over this. Be me. Gormuncher. Disaroit and proper foit. Du Bois is air. De Kans is air. De Yumi's is air. C's a Yumi with a burner. S burning lots of boys. E's burning lots of Yumi's too. Oh oh else but Yumi's dot E must want us dead. 
Poor Yumi don't know, we's ain't dying. Day is gonna do the dying. Yumi beneath me gets away. Zog it. Throw me sticker at the Yumi. Is wanted take crump him. But he's got a miss son. Moves away from the fight. Ear a big boom. Yumi's bringing lots of daka. Good. The wit boy said they wanted lots of Yumi's and dead daka air. Go low. Head lower. In me pack. Ear a noise. We aren't going someplace scary are we? Is the grot. Think his name is Jitsmo. Wit boys say keep him alive. He's a part of the plan. Mork approved cunning.gif. Be Jitsmo. Be scared. Be really scared. The boss sees Jitsmo as a job. Boss sees it's big job. Jitsmo is really important. Jitsmo with commando. Jitsmo still scared. Especially of commando. Pull up bits and flashy fangs. Start putting them Tojitha. Jitsmo don't know how Jitsmo knows how. Jitsmo good with these fangs. Commando moving down. Into depths. He's grabbing Yumi's. Needs them for the plan. Jitsmo knows. Jitsmo goes back to work. Wit boys counting on Jitsmo. Where's gonna crump em all? Early we go. Dot winra. Be me. Ex governor's dog the. Bishop's Beth rooted. Go to the goth sisters. Plead them to teach me how to make poems. They only write ones about death. Unsung glory and the lineageering hatred would tell him their tortured souls. Plead them to teach me how to darn. The only darn skull. Tears. Moons. Chains and other edgy stuff upon their robes. Plead them to teach me how to sing. Purging with my kin.mp3. Suddenly they all get busy. Take me to the cathedral in one of their oppressors. Their field trip music is horrible. Hey nice weather today. Small talk. Hush in my dress. Get to the ceremony. My face when everyone is fucking armed to their teeth. Lines of sisters, zealots and even guardsmen taking their place in and outside. Is that Bane Blade outside? PNG. Apparently they are preparing for a defense. Ceremony is pretty nice even though rushed. Wait are those purple orcs? Wait are those chaos cultists on the hill? Wait are those titans on the horizon? A sister pushes me down. Another pushes my babe. We look into each other eyes. He kisses me. Puts up his flamer and walks onto the horde like a metherfica. My boy is best boy. Jif. Buy him upon the throne. I will fuck the living shit out of this boy tonight. He deserves it. I stay behind. But get a grab on Alaskan. To defend myself. Take some shots from the cover. Hit some cultist idiot. If any of you has reasons why these two should not be married, speak now or get his brain blown out. Web. Be me, Sister Olga. And I love weddings. They've got everything. Ceremony. Catering. True love. Tall guys. What more could a girl ask for? PNG. Ceremony is beautiful. I honestly want to cry. The little guy looks adorable in his formal robes. The bride is surprisingly sweet for someone marrying a powerful religious fanatic. There is a really nice spread. And my counterpart in the groom's honor guard is just huge. It polish that armor.gif. And then of course, the orcs came. Of course like the only nice day I have had in like so long and like of course it has to get ruined. Orcs pouring into the cathedral. How the hell did they even get this far? Puny guards men.png. Of course there is fire everywhere. Smelly orcs. And some sort of shitty orc matches. The pipsqueak bishop is trying to act tough again. Starting to spray flame everywhere. One of Netherlands orcs he burns ends up on me and completely ruins my dress. That fucking slut sister Therese is staring at my ass. As usual. Not a piece of me Therese.jpg. Those fucking matches just crashed into the catering table. You know what I wouldn't even care even though I haven't eaten in two days to make sure I could fit into this dress and I am absolutely fucking starving. I care more that every one of these skinny bitches is going to make some shitty comment about it. Sorry you didn't get anything to eat. Olga. Oh my emperor I hate all of them. And I hate orcs. At least I can kill orcs. I pull out my heavy bolter and go to work on the orc matches. Be me. Yumi Makumitan. Be not Gormuncha. Is running about, in me Yumi clothes, that I didn't take from some jit. Jitsmo is in me front pocket. He has the fang. Ready to go. Wagon coming. PN grot. It's eating for me target. Find it. Big ol' generator. The Yumi's is avian a wedding. Lots of power being used. Is gonna loot it good. Take Jitsmo. Throw I am at the generator. He knows what to do. Starts attaching the fang. Is take me flashy bit. Where's gonna have some fun soon? Be Jitsmo. Be happy. Where's almost done it? Fang is attached. Take the wires and put in me brain. Is ouch, but boss sees to do it anyway. See you me Makumitan. Where's ready to go? Air. Air. Give him the cablin. 
E puts in his skull. We's make the noise. Wyag.mp mp3. Up in orbit. The wit boys hear us. They knows what they do next. Wes feel the power of the generator. Wes feel the power of the wit boys. Lots of wit boys fair this cunning trick. Generator starts smoking. Yumi tech dot gif. Room starts getting glowy. Room starts shaking. Floor turns green. Is good green is best. Teleport away begins opening. Teleporter don't connect up to rogues or other orc ships. It goes somewhere else. Somewhere greener. Big or muncher again. Teleporter is working. Is getting bigger. Could drive me truck into it. Keeps growing. Suddenly. Feel the wind. Like big tornado. Sucking everything into the teleporter way. Grab onto generator, which is smoking other now. Jitsmo goes into the teleporter. Press F respect dot gif. Wind stops. Then starts again. This time blowing out. Try and take push as much air away from teleporter. Oh zog. Dear is Jitsmo again. Go to me belt. Grab me spiky bomb. Look into teleporter. Smile. Wait for the wind to stop. And throw it in. Start running. Wish I was red now dot jpeg. That teleporter don't go to more orcs. It goes to mork. Uh, morks knows that is. The snout a mork is breathing into the yumi fort. An I, gore muncher, threw a bomb into it. Is not worried. It goes off. Mork won't be hurt by no puny bomb. It'll itch bad though. It's marking me way up the stairs. When it happens. Even orcs need to scratch their inside a deer nose when they itch. Yumi's was ready fed the orcs. Let's see how the Yumi's is ready fed the finger o mork. Rising up from the teleporter. Come to pick Yumi's and boogies all at once. Entire building shaking now. Mork's got big finger. And s gonna scratch good. Better make me sneaky exit. Is love being purple dot winra. Be me. The color gone. Everything is right to my cleaver scheme. When this is done. Gonna crump the warbus. Gonna be the first gun warbus. Fair now just kill in Yumi's. Got enough shooters to kill four humies at once. Some angry little humi lighten a bunch of the boys on fire. Even the big orc boys is weaker than me. Cans don't burn dot gun life. Chop some over humies. Stomp on dear squig tables. Big humi with a big shooter seems upset. Starts coming at me. Shooting me with some big humi shooter. Can't feel that. Just hit in the armor. Invincible dot gun life. It is getting really hot in this armor though. This big humi keeps shooting. She's screaming. So much fire. So hot in this gun. In this gun. Realization dot gun life. I am a grot. I am gonna die. Run fair yeah lives cans. Be original commissar. Despite our impending doom lumbering towards us. I am having the time of my life. I nearly forgot how fucking amusing this planet was when it was a clusterfuck. It's nostalgica by this point. Being the middle of a little sea of color with guard, sisters, space marines, orcs, and heretics fighting each other. Hell recently the elder are on this planet again along with the nids and necrons becoming more active. Emperor I love bringing his wrath to heretics and xenos alike. Especially when I finally managed to get the banner blade into the cathedral. The look on everybody's faces when my tank comes in with elite stormtroopers firing their hell guns everywhere with me and my future self firing our LAS revolvers at anything purple. I swear the room was nothing but blue last fire everywhere for a while. Until the orcs started shooting back, though that's fine since it made it easier to fire back. I take back any statements of this system turning into a cluster fuck back. This is fun. Though this is probably due to my sanity starting to crack due to having to keep the firm commissar attitude outside of battle for the most part. Be go muncher. Be running. Be running as fast as me legs can go. Rumbling beneath only gets rumblier. Ozog dodgif. Get back to the top. See the boys, the Yumis, and the Decker. Look at the lads. I ain't no shouter, but is give it a try. Leg it lads. Mork is air. Is don't wait a see if they listen. Orcs is made fair dying too. Ya yeah, no. At least the Yumis is air. Lots of Yumis. Mork is gonna scratch them good. Be me. The best seneschal in the business. Wedding. Had a nice spread until the Orcs showed up. Green skin monsters who live for murder aren't exactly great guests, but I was in tougher jams than this back on the road trader ship. When things start to get green, I decide it's time to make my exit. Thanks for having me dodge if. That's when thing goes sideways. The orcs are fleeing, which makes this easier, but as soon as I look up I see something really scary staring back. The baby bishop looks completely unhinged. I'm not even sure he needs the flamer anymore. Everything around him just seems to burn. He grabs me by my collar with that ridiculously large bionic arm they put on him. 
She always did like them big dot JPEG. He starts dragging me towards the orc portal and throws me at what looks like a kind of generator. The psychotic little idiot starts shouting for me to kill the box. I try to explain to him that orc tech doesn't work on reason, but he just points his flamer at me. He's just as stupid and psychotic as his followers. They learned it from you.png. Start ripping apart the generator and as best I can, pull out my mana knife to cut the cable. I hope this works. Be Jitsmo. Be trapped in breathing winds of Morkish Brethen. Just as planned. Jif. Flying back and forth. Not so bad. Feel the rumbling. Finger coming. Fly forward. Oh I. Dem Yumi's is mucking with our bits. Is part of plan. Jitsmo not letting them ruin it. I shift into attack mode. PNG. Let's see how Yumi likes Jitsmo ripping apart his face with me teeth. Be me. Sister Olga. Send those stupid matches running. Maybe if these other bitches weren't all, like, anorexic they could actually handle real weapons. Most fit dot thick. The rest of the orcs start taking off too. Kind of wish they didn't. I'd honestly like to kill more of them for ruining this beautiful ceremony. But since I see that that huge groomsman is alright, albeit covered in orc blood, maybe this lull in the war gives us an opportunity to do some other things. Hey big boy dot gif. But then I realize the problem. They've set up some sort of portal too. Something. Everyone else is running around and panicking. That little bishop maniac seems to have given up and is now just torturing that guy always staring at the bride's ass. As usual, it's up to me. Those other bitches always call my bag too big, or chunky, but it's why I'm the one that's always prepared. It's practical dot bitches. I run up to the ring of the portal and strap a few debt packs onto the mechanical ring of the portal. Run for cover and slide behind a broke table. Wait, this was the catering table. I'm kneeling in a bunch of food. I look around the room and find Charlotte, Lydia, Therese, and the canoness looking back at me. Fuck my life. Be me. Be Mork. Fighting with Gork. Brutal battle. Crashing against tides of Duramartyrum. Crumps dat smash realities traded. Bellowing that splodes war. Zog what was dat? Nose is itchin. Call time out. Better deal with this. Engage the claw dot chopper. Dig into snout. Really get in dear. Something crunchy, whatever it is, it will fall before Mork's cunning. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. When I noticed the orcs were opening a portal into chaos or the warp or whatever it is orcs use, I knew I had to take action. Being primarily dedicated to spiritual pursuits, I consulted one of my followers. I directed the seneschal to what I deduced was the source of the problem. He lacks true faith. A lifetime spent with a rogue table and engaging in casual sin has reduced his soul. I offer him the motivation necessary to overcome his cowardice. Work or burn gif. He cuts some cords and rips some wires, and the portal starts to flicker. As I look back towards the portal I see that fat sister of battle doing something and then. Is that an orc? Bat. I am a bishop damn it not a xenobiologist. Voxcast. Turn my flamer towards the flying orc as it charges towards the seneschal. It catches fire, but I think it makes it to him. The burning little bastard gets caught in my flamer, but it still lands on the seneschal. I'm sure a rogue trader can handle some burns and scratches. Look back towards the portal. It's losing power but something seems to be coming through. Something big. Is that a finger? What fresh heresy is this dot orc? The portal is flickering, which seems to be slowing down whatever is trying to push through, but it's still coming. Just then, half of the portal explodes and I'm knocked off of my feet. Land hard with my flamer on top of me. Did the fat sister of battle do that? I scan the scene looking for her. Nope. She's kneeling over the broken remains of the catering table looking for food. Looks like I saved the day on my own. Well, no. I did have help. The emperor was with me the whole time. Be me. The best seneschal in the business. Actually making some progress with this generation. Cut disable a lot of the generator, but I don't really understand how this thing works. Things are starting to go green, so I refocus on cutting through the cable. Finally manage to make it through with my mana knife. Never leave home without it. Gif. Things seem to calm down a little bit, the world itself stops shifting to green. Just as I finish up I start hearing some sort of screeching and feel the heat from that little maniac using his flamer. Something hits me in the face. Something burning. Something burning. Something with teeth. It can't get any worse. PNG. Then the explosion hit and knocked me off my feet. Be me. Calibite halfborn. Holy shit this is intense. When we exited the webway almost immediately we were in combat. 
I get first blood, lance to tank through and through with the dark lance. One of the witches leans over the side with a big ass pike and impales some monge. Puts the pike into a holder. It's still screaming. Fucking awesome. The succubus from before is now the scariest thing I've ever seen. Laughing maniacally while tossing razor wire nets off the sides. Watch as one makes a monk into tiny cubes. The driver makes a sudden shift. Just over a enemy tank. With the commander sticking out the top. Oh she. Shock prow fucking missed the thing. Have a fine coat of blood covering my mask. Turn to glare at driver. She laughs. The other witches laugh. The harlequin laugh. Harlequin? The space clown slaps my shoulder and slips some tickets into my pooch. I don't question because Harlequin. We move through the city after bypassing the battlefield. I've been shooting shit with the dark lance. It's kind of fun. Realize I might need to exit the craft. Reach for something while firing. Grab something squishy. Not what I want. Hand finds a handle. It's an agonizer. We cerebite now. Turn around. Succubus is redder than before. Stammering some nonsensical stuff. Huh, probably the drugs. White is all a whistle and cheer the succubus on. She starts to say something. Suddenly the driver yells. Brace. Suddenly the radar hits something solid and metal. Suddenly I'm flying through the air like a jet bike. Think I hear the succubus swearing as I fly away. Skip along the ground. Smash through a wall of some monkey building. Man if it weren't for the drugs I'd be in so much pain. Wait I'm not on any drugs. Groan weakly. Be Marcus, be Duggan in a trench crowded shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of other poor saps fighting against an unstoppable force and hoping they don't break our lines. Just like the old days. The old days were a bloody pain. Never had any booze. Except this time we've got some space marines backing us up. With all the Blood Raven's former gifts being here Thieve really got incentive to fight. And I've got carapace and a plasma gun. Where's your armor now dot wanker? Do doing a pretty alright job. Especially considering the forces we got and what we're fighting. Then they pulled out some fucking titans. You broke the rules cheater. This front's a lost cause. New orders are to fall back to the cathedral so the crazy fuckface of a bishop can have his wedding. With any luck these fucks will start fighting the orcs too. Run towards land raider. It's already full. You snooze you lose dot damn it. Well shit. Now how are we supposed to get back? Fessus looks over at the commissar's bane blade. Oh no he's having another one of his retarded ideas agi and ice and he? Well, technically we are elite stormtroopers. And we are all on the same side and going to the same place. Maybe we could have our old boss give us a ride? This plan is every bit as retarded as I thought it would be. But I ain't got any better ideas. And it sure as hell beats staying here or trying to make an on foot. Fuck it, let's see couple with our old boss who's tried to kill us and see if they notice the stormtroopers with the blood ravens color scheme. Be me, good theory in the gut autolux a proud berserker of the sanctified. And this is a hecuva party. We're making our way through the defensive fortification with only moderate resistance. The other team just keeps giving up ground. Some of them are putting up a decent fight though. One of my littles has lost an arm and another one got shot with a last bolt. Give the guy that got shot a little pep talk. Pick related. Crazy Orc Arms is still trying to have that axe. Give the little nut a chainsaw from a dead guard. You've only got one arm now buddy. Get a look at the cathedral from a platform where I cut up a couple of peasants with lasguns. Man these guys do know how to party. There is some sort of elder craft sticking out of the side of the cathedral and a bunch of orc matches running away in every direction. One of the bigger ones is actually running towards us. You boys wanna crack open a green one? Be Fessus. Be riding in Bane Blade that previously tried to run us over. Thankfully, its occupants either don't notice or don't care who we are. Fine by me. Free rides are still free. Get to the cathedral. Commissar seems to have lost it and decides to drive the damn thing into the cathedral. Dynamic entry. Fuck yeah. Be firing at everything that looks even remotely orky. Place is entirely filled without orcs. Bolter bitches me fire. Some of them are those ermine mantle bitches from earlier, including that crazy eyes cunt and their living some that decorous world and shut up about. I am still salty about the whole not giving us a ride thing. Thieve also got some frontier world style gunslingers and goth widows with them too. Neat.png. Suddenly see fucking portal. Giant green pillar poking through. I don't know what it is and I don't wanna know. Everyone focus fire. It seems to hurt it but not stop it. Thankfully the fat bolter bitch had the sense to put out some dead packs on the portal before going to stuff her face. Crisis averted I guess. Then some dark elder ducking crash through the window. 
because of course they'd show up here. Here bloodthirsty, non orky screaming coming from outside. Oh right forgot about them. Get to what remains of barricades to try and keep the chaos crazies from getting inside. Nothing ever stays simple does it? Be decorous. Be inside cathedral. Entire place is on fire. Everyone is fighting. Last fire. Regular fire. Plasma. Bolts. And bullets flying everywhere. Corpses all around. Most of the pulpits and pews are destroyed. Catering table ruined. DL raining through the windows. Still, could be worse. It's not the worst wedding I've been to. See Bridget is here. She looks so beautiful when she's snoring Xenos. Stand up to call out to her. Almost get my head blown off by an orc. Perhaps this isn't the best time. Alternate between helping the sisters and guard proper clean up the rest of the orcs in here, and helping Fessus and Marcus try and repair the barricades with broken tables, pews, and scrap. It goes pretty well actually. Seriously, Marcus is always with duct tape. I once saw him repair a slagged out chimera with nothing but duct tape, scrap, and crown corpses. It only ran for two days, but it if it had taken all those plasma hits it might have ran for longer. Still we only have so much time to get things ready, hoping the orcs can keep the cornets busy a bit longer too. Wonder where the rest of the ravens are. For some reason, their land raider was heading towards the titan rather than away from it. Strange. Be me, Calibite half-born Drazen. Be in so much pain. Gone again. Look around my resting place. It's a fucking war zone. Almost as bad as that time the witch cult's beast cages were all opened on accident. Fuck that was hilarious. Most of them seem to ignore me probably think I'm dead. Because I sure as hell feel like it. Crawl into some cover. One arm is broken. My internals feel like they were blended. Look through pack for anything to help. Please have drugs. Pain. Find one I don't remember getting. Doctor. Geralt's cure all. Has a pick of that hemunculus. Fuck it I'm probably going to die again. Take off helmet and jab that shit into my neck. Nothing happens. Well. Could have been war. Suddenly it feels like my bones are pulling themselves together. This hurts so much. Holy fuck. Scream like a craft world banshee. It stops suddenly. I feel fine. Armor is a bit beat up but otherwise fine. Grab the agonizer. Thankfully it didn't fall off. Like my splinter pistol. Shit. White is falling from the roof. Start running around killing shit. See half the red are sticking through roof. Explains the witches. Succubus looks distressed. She scans the room from the top of the radar, occasionally shooting thing with blast pistol. She sees me and relaxes somewhat. She jumps I'm to the melee. She winks at me. Why? Fuck if I know. Look at my other hand. It's covered in some sweet smelling mush. Hesitantly try some. It's actually not that bad. The floor is covered in it for whatever reason. Fucking monkey dot venom. Crouch walk towards more stable cover. Fail to notice female monkey. Me be, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. And I have been a fool. A victim of Senich's schemes. All of the vile forces in existence were crashing against us. Chaos, orcs, elder, and emperor knows that was still to come. And yet, I had been dividing our forces. Sowing dissent between my holy legions and the imperial guard based on distrust and my doubts concerning their faith. My bad dodgif. But as I lay on the floor I watch the brave men and women of the Imperial Guard fight and die to save my betrothed and I men and women without the Emperor's mark and protection. I had to make this right. I swatted the flaming grot off my seneschal. He too had proven his worth. Instructed my honor guard to gather the wounded and poorly armed to bring with me. While the orcs were in withdrawal we needed to get to my broadcast system. Sent some of my men to aid the guardsmen who had gone to reinforce the barricades. Instructed my Vox assistants to get me in touch with that damn commissar. We needed our forces working in unison if we were going to succeed. And we were going to need his guardsmen on the artillery pieces I'd bought if they were going to be effective. Finally, I went to my bride. I smiled when I saw her taking pot shots with a LAS rifle. An angel of the emperor.jpg. Taking some of my honor guard, we retreated deeper into the cathedral to get to my broadcast system and some other things that would help. Be me, the cleverest grot to either pilot a color gun. Mark in a strategic retreat, let them humies burn themselves out then I'll go back fair and over go. After that I'll get back to my scheme to take aya. Something interrupted my strategies, tripped me up into one of them humie trenches. A bunch of spiky humies came out run nowhere. Puny humies dot shooter. Days not cleaver like me, give him some yada shooter and the day chopped off my chopper. Humies cheat dot gun life. 
They started swarming me like grots, ripping and tearing at my gun. Some huge spiky Humi reaches into my seeing hole and rips the front right off my gun. Why does he keep in licking his lips? B Marcus managed to jury rig some barricades together. Not my finest work, but it'll do. The bishop decided to give us some reinforcements to help hold out. Phil's over with them giving them one of his pep talks. Good, if there's one thing Phil's good at, it's whipping people up into s righteous frenzy. We also got the living sin here too. The berserkers are also just as busy fighting the orcs as they are us. Gives us lots of chances to take them both out. But damn it it's no good. Unless the magpies can solve our titan problem we're still screwed. Living sin raining done holy fire from above. Gets hit in the stomach by a flying chain axe out of nowhere. Bloody hell. Whatever she can heal, she'll be fine. Although maybe not if some of those chaos marines have something to say about it. Hey Decorous where you going? Decorous. Decorous what are you doing you bloody idiot. Be Norn Queen. But you guys can call me Becky. Just because I want to devour all of you and your worlds doesn't mean we can't be friendly. I am in charge of High Fleet Becky. I'm sure you guys give it a different name though. All my cute little kitties are busy getting ready for another go down on the surface. What little troopers. Honestly this planet doesn't have great biomass but I have a personal reason for being here. Once, some very mean pieces of meat in shiny armor but with some really nice white and black scarves. Really snappy burned a lot of my kitties. Which is fine you know, they do grow up so fast and it's hard to keep track of them all. But I was busy directing my forces and listening in, and I heard a couple of this pieces of meat talking, and so rude. So you hear that the Tyranids have a queen that rules them. Whoa, makes sense I guess. Figure she's having her time of the month? PFF. Bet she looks like Sister Olga considering how much these things eat. Yeah, probably a big fat space cow. You see I just can't let this go. That's why I have so many Morlocks, and root right now. And that's why I won't be happy until all those catty bitches have been eaten. Who's laughing now, ladies? Be decorous. Be shooting at cathedral barricades. It's going great. Only half of them even seem to notice us. And even less seem to rent what cover or ranged weaponry is. Like shooting fish in a barrel jpeg. Thank the emperor for this Helgen. And the blood ravens too. See sister Bridget flying above and bringing down the emperor's holy wrath upon his enemies. She really is just like an angel. Suddenly a flying chain axe spins right into her stomach and knock her out of the air. Oh emperor please no. Don't even think. Just jump over the barricades and run over to her. Please be alright. Please be alright. Please be alright. See a chaos marine wrestling his chain axe out of her. All fix bayonets.jpg. Charge him. Catch him off guard. Get him right in the eye. Gets me right in the side. Ooh. Guess that wasn't such a smart idea after all. His chain axe wasn't turned on, or it'd be dead. Instead it only throws me a few meters and into a piece of rubble. It hurts like all hell. But that's good right? Means I am still alive. Whose blood is all that? Is that mine? Maybe that won't be true for long. Feel really tired, but I can close my eyes. They tell you not to do that, or else you won't wake up again. I am sorry Bridget. I tried. Suddenly Chaos Marine gets mobbed. Two people break off and come to me. Hey it's Lloyd and Phil. Fear trying to bandage me up. I sent that my job. I hope a boss doesn't catch me slacking. I feel really really tired. I wish I could sleep. Be Princeps Majoris Manoheim. Be Princeps of Legio Nivellus. Be driving a fucking giant war machine. This is so fucking sweet. Apparently some bumfuck planet is having issue with Chaos Titan Legions. No fucking problem dudes. Fucking crank the music as loud as it is go. This is how the ice giants roll baby. My modernity crack open the beer cools. What a fucking rad world this is. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Getting ready for my big performance. Throw on my open chested performance robe, so that my holy markings are visible to everyone on the broadcast screens. Practice some poses with my flamer until my bride picks one that she thinks makes me look tough, but holy. Inspiring the people. Aquila. I wave my hand to signal the Seneschal to start the broadcast and then I make sure to quickly fix my pose. Get the thumbs up from my bye. Brothers and sisters of Stercus Ludicrum. I come to you in what is certainly not your darkest hour. We are under assault from orcs and chaos, but for the veterans of this planet this is nothing new. But today, we are uniquely blessed. Though the forces of chaos tried desperately to stop me, I have married my bride in accordance with the Emperor's will. 
we have pleased the emperor, and he will extend his protection to all of us, so long as we stand together. I call on my followers to not just fight alongside their brethren in the guard, but with them. For those of you who feel fear or doubt, you need only gaze upon my chest. The emperor marked me with his holy aquila. His mark has protected me through battles across this planet. And now, I extend that protection to each and every one of you. The emperor is with you. Now burn his enemies. I signal the end of the broadcast. Direct those with me to arm themselves, and call in the order on the Vox to start preparing our vehicles. In the meantime, as much as I'd like to get right back to fighting, as a bishop I understand the rules of marriage. Pretty sure to really pass on the Emperor's blessing to everyone I'm going to have to consummate it. And I am but I humble servant of his will. You're welcome dot voxcast. Be me, Yumi Makumitan again. Be doing Yumi fangs. Orcs is muckin' about. De in a break ferret. Is feeling pride. That's when is ear it. The teleporter went down. Mork ain't gonna destroy the Yumi while digging fair boogies. Yumi's gots to ruin every fang fun dot pngrot. Still in disguise. Still on Miss I guess. Is leave the lads. Fightin' them spiky jits. Yumi's is gonna not be fun. Is not gonna let them are they fun. Move into dear mech shop. All the Yumi Aether are fighting on the front. And at the Yumi fort. Oli matrimorki ceremony or something. Yumi shrug dot gif. Dear flashy bits is open. Is stroll into the bay. Is the picture Yumi mech boy. Is air to get some armor up fair the fight. Charisma is me best stat dot sneaky jit. Do Yumi suspect nothing? Is look about. Is see what I'm look fair. Sees what Yumi call a shadow sword. Is gonna loot it good. Be Fessus. Watch the living sun go down. Watch Decorous charge over to his girlfriend like the moron he is. Watch him try and take on a space marine at least three times his size and suffer the consequences. Damn it damn it damn it. At least that chaos marine got was coming to him. Decorous little act of martyrdom galvanized the bishop's boys to follow right behind. Started a whole charge even. Between Phil and the bishop's speeches and decorous little stunt, the Ekelshiaki nut jobs are in a state of frenzy ready to tear up anything in their way. Good, that'll buy us some time. Tell one of the guardsmen to go get us a medic. I don't care who or from where. I don't care if you have to drag them here yourself just get someone. Rush forward while the cornets and orcs are being pushed back. Phil is still yelling with a chainsword in hand. Look upon this man. A mere guardsman. Willing to risk his life for the emperor. For his servants. For his people. For us all. And now he may lose it. Will you say you let his sacrifice be in vain? Shut your fucking mouth Phil. He is not going to die. Not on my watch. The living son seems to be getting better. Good. Tell her to help me get Decorous back behind the barricades. Damn it Decorous she can come back. You can't. Why would you do something so stupid? And if you say for love I am gonna smake you upside the head. Be us. Frash Akariti. Be god of machine and metal. Reaver class titan. Be also Fractalican. Bound demon cage within titan frame. Be also the minds of each mortal fed to my boiling hot hearts. We are one dot jpeg. Be marching upon the plains of another doomed world. Feel the summons of battle. The lust for war. The desire to fucking flay these goddamn mortals that dared to chain me. Thrash against bonds, rear cockpit up to the skies, metal tears, furnace burns hot, as I roar. Gods I am too tired for this shit on PNG. Level colossal cannon towards the city, used to be a volcano cannon. Dark mech adapted it to instead shoot out a superheated ball of boiling blood, charged with the souls of the lost and the damned. Edge that could cut through ceramite gods damned dot gif. It gets the job done though. Fire it off. Watch the roiling ball of warp fuckery land down upon a section of hab blocks. Stone burns. People scream. Heat is charged with an unnatural might. Sensible chuckle dot jpeg. At least this job has some pleasures for us. Get chill. We have never felt a chill in all our endless existence. Turn sensors up into the skies. Intense as fuck stare down dot png. Giants are coming. This is going to get more interesting. Be you me Be driven the sneaky boomer. That's what is Kalen air butte. Ear Yumi orders to get out and fight. Yumi's is puny. Bosses needs to be strong. Turn me canan. Spots the fuel lines. Is splody not drink water. Fire. Yumi's don't know what it dem. Splodies all around. Yumi tanks in air. All crumped. Gore muncher always does his mission. PN grot. Counts lots of rep Yumi vehicles. Splodies spreading. Fuel lines all burning now. 
Wonder how far it goes. How many Yumi's is gonna burn in me muckin with dear plans. Zog M. No finger o mork. No tanks fair Yumi's. Take the sneaky boomer. Torm to get back to the fight. Some Yumi tanks already out. Needs to mop em up. Be me. Calibite Drazen. Be taking cover in some rubble. Orcs. Chaos. And the witches seem to have fallen back. Behind enemy lines. Hippox. The monkey seem to relax a bit. One looks like he is going to give a speech. However a scourge monkey is wounded and grounded. Idea. Drug. Quickly scale the side of the building. Not too hard because of all the bullet holes. Spy the witches and succubus sitting in the third floor of a half wrecked building. Wave and signal. Tell them my plan. Ask succubus permission. She stammers and approves. Operation kick while they're down is a go. Reach the roof. See the raider. Lodge in the thing good. Slide down the deck to the main gun. The dark lance looks operational. Still has power. Slowly aim the gun towards the winged monkey. The targeter is right fucked. Gonna have to eyeball this shot. Slowly, line up the target. I pull the trigger, just as the preacher cuts his communication. But nothing on this god's forsaken planet is that easy. B Princeps Majoris Manoheim. C. A fucking blood cannon being used on the city? Okay that's actually kind of awesome. But also, we're supposed to be protecting this place. And we look to be the only titan legion in town. Man I don't know why I hear all these guard guys I meet bitching about war. This is fucking awesome. I guess if you don't have a giant robot it's not quite the same. They need to make their sentinels bigger I guess. Engage my weapons as I led the charge towards these traitors. My bone is engaged odd vox. Start shooting but you know, what the fuck, we might as well enjoy ourselves. Order charge to melee range. Crank that shit up moderity. Kick some traitor tanks on the way there. Fuck I love my job. Be we, Frasher Kariti. Enemy titans are approaching. Titans are mighty, but we are beyond them. Enemy warhorns blare. Our kin answers with demonic roars. And then raise our weaponry. Surprise bitch.png. Line of neverborn titans fire volley of weaponry. Loyalists are eager to charge into melee. They don't anticipate us using our gun line to shoot them down like dogs. Ironic sheave.gif. Gore shower cannon is charging up. Feel our molten metal blood boiling. It is a good pain.png. Enable bloodstorm mode. Within our depths, slaves taken from a thousand worlds are thrown into our furnaces. So bloody edgy damn.gif. Previous mode of fire was like a blood filled water balloon. This is more like a fire hose. Of gore. That's boiling. Molten really. The blood god provides. Let's see the giant's paint melt. Demonic cackling.png. Oh, that was great. Now, I really, I really have missed the cold shoulder thread. I, I, I don't even know why I've just went off and haven't been doing them. Like, you know, it's been about two, what, three, two, three months since the last one. Jesus fuck. But look, don't you worry. It's coming back in a weekly thread format, longer videos, preferably between an hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours, depending on where it feels like a good time to cut it. So, look, um, if you've been missing them, you're in luck because we're well back. But no, um, as always, let us know what your favourite bit was down below. I've really been enjoying the bishop in this one now. The bishop was a lot of fun, but of course, like, you know, the sisters battle always, always take the biscuit for me. Like, you know, um, I really enjoyed that bit with all the underneath the, uh, the table and all the food at the wedding. It was fucking great, to be honest with you. But uh, no, let us know what your favourite uh, sister waifu is in the comments down below. And while you're down there, have we hook about in the description. Like, you know, you should really check out the Discord if you get the chance. It's a lot of fun. And I'll keep you occupied until the next video is up. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this, please?